So defunding the WHO makes absolutely no sense during a pandemic. They are exactly the organization that can deal with this pandemic. We need a global coordinated response. Why don't we have smallpox on the planet anymore? Something that maybe you or I actually got vaccinated for as young children. It's because of WHO and its partners and a coordinated response. We need to be realistic. In this environment where people are having to open up billions and trillions of dollars to help with economic stimulus, making that money up is going to be very, very difficult. You know, as um, COVID-19 is moving, you know, as we see from place to place, country to country, we really as a global community need to address what is just beginning now in Africa and some of these South Asia countries. And so, yes, we see a huge need, and that's why we more than doubled our commitment this time. We know that it's the people who are on the margins. Whenever a health crisis hits like this, they're the ones that it hits the very most. I worry quite honestly about, about mothers. We know during the Ebola crisis, maternal mortality went up. We knew teen pregnancy went up during the Ebola crisis. We have to look at all of those factors. In terms of our funding, we are advancing eight different vaccine candidates into the preclinical phase. But I think what you're hearing from all the scientists and experts right now is it's likely 18 months until we have um, a vaccine.